I'm still tying flies for my wedding so I'm going to tie a quick tie woolly bugger and the color coordination is still going to be black and red in keeping with the wedding but we will fish these flies later on just to prove that we can actually catch fish on them I've just dressed the hook I'm not going to go all the way up to the up to the barb of the hook like most people do I believe in just tying a little bit short of that just allowing for when the fish are coming short that they might make contact with the hook instead of just grabbing tail feathers I'm not going to tie a very heavy tail into this fly I'm just going to cut off some black marabou here tie it in behind the bead this is not a normal fly tying bead so it hasn't got a flat side on it so when we finish it off there will be a bit of a, a collar caused by the cotton That's tied in, like I said, not a very big tail. We're then going to take some copper wire for our ribbing. And just tie this in behind the behind the bead. That. Okay. I'm then going to dub this fly with black dubbing. General rule of dubbing is less is more. So I'm just going to thinly apply this onto the cotton. A lot easier to work with when it's on thin and more inclined to stay on the cotton as you work it around the, the hook. When it's thick it sort of noodles and then wants to jump off the cotton. I'm not using flash in this fly, but you'll notice there's a bit of other colors and flash and sparkly bits in the dubbing. Sort of like a, not a UV dubbing, but it does catch a bit of light. Okay, we're going to just rub the fly. I'm going to put a little bit of a collar on this fly, but that's purely for my own satisfaction. There's no real reason for it, other than I believe in if you're happy with a fly or you have a gut feel, go with it. There's no reason to have to tie things as per the book, especially when you're fishing them. Okay, and then just going to take a bit of hackle. Tie it in behind the bead. By tying it in and folding it back, it just secures it a little bit better. And less chance of it sliding out while, while tying it on. Just going to twist it around a few times. Should be enough. Drop it down. One, two. Just pull it firmly down with the cotton. Palmer it back. And yeah, we're going to build up that little bit of a collar that I mentioned. Like that. Pull the feather under tension and just touch it like that with the scissors. Helps break it off without actually cutting off by mistake a whole lot of other feathers. Nothing more frustrating than that. Then we're just going to whip finish it. That's pretty much the fly. Quite simple. should look very good while it's in the water and catch fish. <laughs>